today we are bringing the self-driving experience to data management and data governance. Okay, so first let's talk a little bit more about what we mean by self-driving. Let's do that. Okay, so in time, how will the car revolutionize the user experience? So the biggest difference with the real self-driving car is that all you need to do is to specify where you head it and the car will do everything else. It will overtake other cars and hopefully we will see that it will take the right uh, exit from, uh, from this highway. And now you can see for 20 minutes. So a few, few other things that the car can already do uh, we can hopefully see right now is that it actually observes uh, the traffic lights so it will stop for the red traffic light here it will get going again when the, when the traffic light turns, uh, turns green it actually uh, watches also for some traffic signs it watches for pedestrians, cyclists and things like that Okay, so from home to office or from result, uh, intent to result in one step. This is all very easy to visualize in terms of the car, but how does this work in the context of data management? How does self-driving work in the context of data management? So we have um, used the car analogy because the what you just described as intent to result is exactly what we are bringing to uh, the data management and data governance field. Can you give some examples? I can give a few examples. A very simple example is uh, a business analyst responsible for purchase orders, right? Something you know, suspicious is, is on a report and the analyst wants to see if it might be a problem with the quality of the data. So she will only ask the platform, give me the, the data quality of our purchase orders over the course of past two months. And that's it, the platform will deliver the result. A little more complex example, let's say we have a compliance officer who needs to understand where the organization is storing the PIA data. He will only ask the platform uh, in which data sources we have PIA data and the platform will actually deliver it. And the most complex and probably the most valuable example uh, is when the, the consumer is not actually a human, a person, but it's a system, it's a, some kind of algorithm. So let's say an um, organization is building a new self-care portal and what's needed is uh, customer and product ownership information. So whoever is preparing the data for this will ask the platform for an API that contains the customer and product ownership information and the platform will actually uh, provide the API. Okay, so leveraging AI in data management, what are we doing that's so revolutionary? So there are products um, in, let's say, the specific areas, like small products, where, apply, uh, where AI is applied on the level of the individual module, right? Like uh, data cataloging or something like that. But the big difference is that uh, we have built the Atacama 1 Generation 2 from the ground up, which means we were able to unify those disciplines and uh, using AI we are able to automate the processes across those disciplines. Here we are at our development centre. Okay, so this new process or journey, how does it contribute to actual business goals? The first thing is uh, what it brings to digital transformation, where data to everyone in organisations is simply crucial. Without that, you wouldn't succeed. With our platform, you can provide governed, high quality data instantly to everyone. In line with that, uh, there is the matter of uh, speed or time to value. Every new product, every innovation, every campaign 
in the organizations today is actually based on a data product. And if it takes you weeks or months to prepare the data product, then you are not competitive. Again, with our platform, we can provide the data instantly in an agile way and govern at the same time. <clears throat> Which brings me to the last kind of benefit, a big one. We've been seeing uh, a growing kind of tension or even conflict in organizations between people who are really driven agile and people teams, uh, let's say drivers to governance, which means doing things in the right way, focusing on sustainability, things like that. And this tension has been growing. With our platform, basically the gap disappears completely.